All right, Shalom. First and foremost of all, praise, honor, and glory to Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakak Wadash. The bar, see, Apostle, and it was a great millstone, we're teaching us, storm sent truth according to the Bible, real well. And peace and blessings so afflict to the nation of Israel, take through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, willing to get to the Lord's willing to find lesson. You know, on seeking Yahweh by Shema uh while we are uh, allotted this grace period, you know, while it is called today, you know, serve Yahweh by Shema uh with fear and trembling. You see, this is a Sirach. Um, what is that? Hebrews 3. Oh, yeah, sorry, let me get this. This is uh, Hebrews 3. And let me pull up an NLT slot. Yeah, I would, I wanna I like to read the book of Hebrews and NLT personally. This is a uh, Hebrews three, and I'm gonna start at verse six. But Yahweh Shai, as the Son, is in charge of the Most High's entire house, and we are the Most High's house, if we. Keep our courage and remain confident in our hope in Yahweh Shai. That is why the Holy Scriptures say, Today, when you hear His voice, don't harden your hearts, as Israel did when they rebelled when they tested me in the wilderness. There your ancestors tested and tried my patience even though they saw my miracles for 40 years. And right now, what Israel is doing, uh, what, what, what miracles Yahweh Shema Shai is showing by raising up his servants, the prophets, these men who are speaking the end to, into existence. And everything, starting with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, have been uh, talking about, such as the sea hip, right? The prophecies of Yah by Shema uh the the uproars of the people, the earthquakes in diverse places, you know, the 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 coming famine, all uh, the coming pestilences, right? All of these things, you know, these things are show forth the power of Yah by Shema Washai. and that is why. You know, we are constantly warning our people to repent and turn back because of the, the evils that are coming, right? And to hold fast to this truth, to this knowledge and, and, and what you are witnessing. You're witnessing uh, the fall of Babylon the Great. You're witnessing the power of Yahweh by Shema Washai. You know, we're witnessing Yahweh, Yahweh by Shema Washai. Uh, destroy this kingdom and set up his kingdom right before our very eyes. That That's what's happening in the earth. And this is why Sirach 5 and 7, make no tearing to turn to the Lord. And as we see these signs, you know, uh, uh, become more apparent, right? Are speaking at the, Sirach so talking about at the, at the end, the vision, the vision shall speak and not lie. <laughs> As we see the vision of Yahweh by Shema Washai not lying, we can't wait to serve the Lord because these are the times that the Lord has allotted for us to have mercy. And once these doors of mercy are closed, it, 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 that, that's going to be it for our people, the wicked of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? It says, make no tearing to turn to the Lord and putting that off from day to day, right? Don't put... uh. Your salvation, your chance of salvation off from day to day as if it's not important, right? Put put forth the things that are, are needful, right, that are important. You put those things to the forefront. What's more needful than to find and, and try to seek the mercies of Yahweh by Shema Washai, right? And, and, and to cry unto the Lord, you know, and ask the Lord for uh, forgiveness and mercy for all the evil and wickedness that we've done, you know, in his sight. This is uh, Psalms uh, 34 and 18. The, the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, right? So if you want to seek the Lord, you got to be a broken hearted. 
you gotta have you gotta uh, want uh, be remorseful, you know, full of remorse, of all uh, of all the uh, 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 transgression, right? All the idol worship, all the uh, sacrificing uh, to these other nations and their gods, and serving them rather than serving our God, Yahweh You see, you should feel full of remorse for doing those things. Eating all type of abominable foods, you know, such as shrimp, pork, crab, lobster, right? It says the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit, right? That the lowly Yahabashima Washai is drawing nigh unto them, right? Those who are uh, simply seeking mercy, those who are seeking Him. Uh, after hearing all these uh, atrocities that Yahweh Shema Shai is about to bring, all these evils and bad time, and you want to escape, uh, you want to escape the, the troubles to come, right? You got to seek Yahweh Shema Shai in sincerity and in truth. You got to be sincere, right? You got to be humble. You got to be meek. You got to be lowly. This is Sirach 5 and 7. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord. And put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. For suddenly, right? When you least expect it, the Heavenly Father is going to remove, He's going to remove the, the prophets of Great Millstone and the, and the men following, and the men on down following in, in, in their footsteps, teaching the doctrine of Yahweh by Shema Washai. You see, in those mercies, of Yahweh Shema Washai are going to be taken out of the streets. And it tells us here, it's like actually click on the wrong chapter, Second Chronicles 36 and verse 15, it says, Moreover, it says, it's like, yeah, it says, And the Lord Yahweh, God of their fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? Sent to them by his messengers, his messengers, the prophets, right? Rising up be times, rising up be times before the destruction, before Yah by Shema Washai, you know, would, uh, would bring these plagues and pestilence, right? Rising up be times and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place, right? So Yah by Shema Washai. He has compassion on you so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans, and that's why through the blood of the to the, the sacrifice of our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, we've been given this a time of grace, time of mercy. But in all actuality, only the elect of Yahweh Shema Shai are gonna take heed. You know, that's how the story is written, right? But you should want to be part of that elect. You want to be found part of those men, women, and children that, 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 that sought the Lord, that was seeking Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, before the evil days. This is Sirach 5 and 7. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance, right? And who is the Lord going to uh, lay out his vengeance upon? You know, not only the heathen, right? We always get into how... Yahweh Shema Shai is going to judge these nations because of their wickedness, right? But it tells us here in Hebrews 10, <coughs> um, actually, let's actually get Hebrews 10 uh, in the NLT. Like I said, I want to read the book of Hebrews in the NLT, and we're going to start at verse uh, 28. Um, it says, For any one... Who refused to obey the law of Moses was put to death without mercy, right? So, if, if, you know, so if you're refusing the ways of Yahweh by Shema Shai, there's a penalty for that, right? And, and we, we've seen, uh, we've seen that throughout the scriptures, right? It says, for anyone who refused to obey the law of Moses was put to death without mercy in the testimony of two are three witnesses just think how much more the worst punishment will be for those who have trampled on the son of god right 
uh, one greater uh, than Abraham, one greater than Moses, you know, the son of Yahweh, Shema Washai, you know, the, the son, it's like the son of the heavenly father, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, right? It says, who have trampled on the son of the most high, Yahweh yeah, Shai, right? And have treated the blood of the covenant, which made us holy, as if it was common or unholy, right? And have insulted and disdained the Holy Spirit, which brings God's mercy to us, right? That order, you know, of the how how the, how the truth is dispensed amongst the men of Yahweh his, his leaders, his prophets, right? You you spies in that order. Scripture say, "He that despises of you, despise of me." Let's get that, you know. And it's lucky for brothers who might be watching this on their TVs, you know, or on the uh, on the phone, the brightness, you know, switching back and forth. It's, it's a little quicker. You know, maybe we'll keep my points, keep the lesson going. This is a St. Luke 10, you know, with the light and dark contrast, which I, I can do light. I can do light here, keep the same contrast. This is a St. Luke 10, 16. He that hear of you, hear of me, right? This is Reller speaking of Yahweh Shai, right? It's Yahweh Shai speaking to, to his men. He that hear of you, he that hear of us, hear of me, being Yahweh Shai. And he that despise of you, despise of me. And he that despise of me, despise of him that sent me, right? So you despise uh, the words that this gospel of the kingdom of Yahweh Shema Oshai, then you despise yeah, the heavenly father Yahweh, and you despise his only begotten son Yahweh Shai, right? This is um, Hebrews 10 and uh, 29, one more time. I really like this in LT. Just think how much more worse the punishment will be for those who have trampled over the Son of God and have treated the blood of the covenant which made us holy. So how much worse of a punishment are you going to receive for denying the Lord in these last days, right? As if it were common or unclean, right? Right, that, that reminds me of Acts the tenth chapter. You know, that's all I'll say on that. It says, "And have and 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 have insulted and disdained the Holy Spirit, which brings God's mercy to us, for we know the one who has said, I will take vengeance, I will pay them back.' He also said, the Lord will judge His own people. Right." You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says, It is a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Right? So it's a terrible thing to fall into Yahweh Shema Washai's hands. Right? It's a terrible thing for the Lord uh, to pour out His mercy. Look at the definition for uh, terrible. Right? Extremely are extremely bad or serious causing to uh cause uh, uh causing terror sinister dreadful nasty right you're going to be put into a very dreadful a very nasty situations because you wanted to reject you know this grace period that you've been given by Yah by Shema Washai and, and and do your own thing right this is why the scriptures tell you this, Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Right? Right now, the Lord is near. Right now, you have this opportunity to seek Yahweh by Shema Shai. The doors of mercy are open. You have the opportunity to, uh, you know, get your act together and do that which is pleasing to Yahweh by Shema Shai. And where do you find that which is pleasing? Uh, out in the holy in the holy scriptures and being more specifically being taught by the men of Yah by Shema Shai, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Milstone, right? Who are going to teach you the one hundred percent truth according to the doctrine of Yah by Shema Shai, according to the, the Holy Bible, right? It says, "Call ye upon him while he is near; let the wicked forsake his way, 
in the unrighteous man his thoughts, right? Let's read this in the NLT. It says, let the wicked change their ways and banish the very thoughts of doing wrong. <laughs> you know, you're not even supposed to uh, meditate. Not only you're supposed to stop doing them, don't even think about doing wickedness, right? Less, it says, yes, turn to our God and he will forgive generously, right? So the Lord is ready to forgive. You know, the Lord is great in power and and might to forgive. He, uh, I can't I can't remember how that one how that one goes. The Lord is uh unto all those that call upon him is is near unto all those that call upon him. I can't I can't remember how it goes. The Lord Lord's willing, you know, if I find it, you know, I'm I'm butchering it, you know, so lucky I can't remember exactly how it goes, but, you know, if I find it, you know, I'll, I'll pin it in the comment section below, so I pray you're edified, next time I'm going to say, Shalom.